I never use this color. Let's try this one. Real YouTube. Oh, I see why I don't use it. Um, YouTubists uh, are good at intros. That's how you know this is a professional channel. I keep messing up the top. It's honestly like it's starting to irk me. The fact that like the the writing is up. Why is the camera never ready? I gave it so much. Okay, thank you. Um, I gave it so much time. Yeah. Um, anyway, hello. What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> um, I don't really have anything planned for the intro today. Uh, it just uh, if you haven't already, please make sure that you are drinking water and staying hydrated. It's something that is very easy to forget and to like go long periods of time without um, doing. So yeah, this is your reminder. If you are thirsty or if you're dehydrated, go go get some water and, and pause the video or click off if, if you're if you if you're done. Um, but yeah, go get some water and, and yeah, I think I think that's it. Please enjoy the video. We're playing Emerald Kaizo today. We're going up against Flannery. So, yep. No. Oh my god, wait, what? Which is a roll if I switch until I can power grass. So let's see, this should do like 30% if I don't get crit, but if I get crit, it'll do 90. Nope. See, and this is why- Wait, what? Did I- Wait, what? Okay, 75% of the time it dies. Please get the, get the hit. That's so unlucky. Accuracy? That's so unbelievably unlucky. Oh man. So wait, where am I supposed to go now? Like, actually supposed to go. Oh, right, top of Mount Chimney, I remember now. I remember now, because the grunts were blocking it earlier. But let's get the Acro Bike. Oh, I shouldn't even need a repel, interesting. This should be fine, right? No issues. Okay, this is Fake Out. Flinch me, kill. Celio. Oh, see, that's not good. I'm gonna pivot into this. Get it protect. Body slam for the para. Lumbrae. Hedge pump. Body slam for the kill. Swallow it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's probably Jigga Drains, right? It's not like I'm dead to anything. I may as well just do my plan. Use Jigga Drain. Enjoy your health! <laughs> I weed. Alright, what's next? Next up is Lava Ridge Town. Alright, we have made it, I think, to Flannery's Gym. Because Mount Chimney is optional. Wait, what's over here? There better be a hidden item over here. I can't go over here. Alright, chat. We have made it to Flannery. We've made it well. We've made it to her town, at least. Not bad, huh? This is why, why not, right? I can hatch the egg wherever I want, and it will count as that route's encounter. So where do people normally hatch this? Oh, wait, higher Torkoal? Is, it, is Macargo better than Torkoal? Which do I prefer, Macargo or Torkoal? It's probably not gonna matter. I'm probably gonna get some garbage 1% encounter that just explodes anyway. Do wait, Torkoal explodes Ponytail's recoil move? Oh my god, Jesus, thank you. Holy, what the? Explosion on level 30! Oh no, wait, what do I do about that? Wait, almost very bad. Oh, I'm not gonna catch it! <laughs> no! Okay, this is no special lead. Oh god, please don't ex- I'm gonna get exploded on! <laughs> There's no damp in this game, I can't stop it from exploding. This sucks! No! <laughs> it's gonna go boom, oh god. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, chat. Oh, it's so doomed. Gosh darn. Okay, now we're just praying for no Torkoal. Not Torkoal, not Torkoal. No booms, no boom. Torres, Tora, thank you for the tier one. This player div? Okay, no Torkoals, no Torkoals, no Torkoals. Oh, okay, so it matters. <laughs> all right, all right, cool. We still have to catch it, though. Let me just check the moves in this thing. All right, worth it. Does this mean we won't get Ponytail at the next thing? Whee! Okay. Boink. Uh, if it has thick fat, it's okay, I think. What moves does this thing have? If it has thick fat, it might be alright. Spoink is only good with thick fat. Oh, please, please, I've gotten such bad abilities in this run. Oh, I, I feel- I feel so doomed, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel so doomed. I fell on thick fat, I had hurry on the thick fat and died. Oh, please, boing, please. Ah, oh, it doesn't have it, I can feel it. No, no, it has it. Thick fat! Out of it! Oh, thick fat's still fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. That has thick fat. Help, wait, where do I go? Oh no, where's the first trainer? Help. Do they hide from you? Uh oh. Up? Wait, is it- which one is it? Left and up? Wait, hang on, okay, I'm in the door. I- I don't know where you guys are. Top one, top left. Everyone's saying top left. So not this one, and instead I'm going to this one. Agree? Down and left? 
So this one? Oh. I found them. Just like a guide to the gym? What do you think I have chat for? Also, this is Kaizo. I don't want to look at a base guide. Wait, does Magmar have flame body? Uh-oh. Wait a second. Does Magmar have flame body? It does. Does Ancient Power make- Ancient Power doesn't make contact, right? There's no way Ancient Power makes contact. Oh, I might have made a huge mistake here. I should have given it Rostberry. Please don't burn. Please don't burn. Please don't burn. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright. 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 Sun is strong. Alright, there should always be quick attack. Because they want to activate rough skin. Should probably confirm con 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 confirm <clears throat> the crits that I'm faster, but there's no, I already confirmed. If I got the cruise boost, then quick attack wouldn't be guaranteed anymore, I know. Yeah, I guess I should have been 1 HP for that reason. What do you think? Should I have been 1 HP since it didn't really matter? Accuracy drop? Nope. Extra sentry, I'm not to decrit. Yep. And then I muddy water again for the kill. Water again for the kill, this never misses. Camera. Alright, this should always die. According to the document, it is a it is um lava armor, magma, free anti-freeze armor. Let's go for muddy water, no quick claw, because there's no quick claw. Struck a beeb, just like the real version of it. Faints in one hit. Okay, and a torpal. Now, this is the scary part. Everything else was guaranteed. Okay. Solar Beam. Okay, that's the weakest move they have, right? I'm gonna pull everything in the calc here. Okay, Solar Beam does 32 max. Um, ooh. Wait, hang on. I'm dead to overheat crit because I'm under leveled, right? Wait, how? Overheat crit does max 90? Uh, I'm, I'm dead to one roll overheat crit. That's, yeah, that's it. I'm fine. Give me a big psychic crit here. Okay, well. Hopefully this doesn't get the 1 in 16, 1 in 16, because that'd be bad. Didn't get it, didn't get either of them. They probably overheat again, right? Yeah, overheat's just special flare blitz. Oh, I guess, yeah, it's flare blitz anyway. Alright, I can't intimidate, that's fine. Solar beam? The heck? I would've lived that. I guess they didn't see the kill. It's fine though, it's still weaker, right? Okay, I'm not dead to crit here, because max damage- The strongest move is overheat, yeah. So never did to crit here. However, I might be dead to crit after double edge, so I have to waterfall, I think. But waterfall is really weak. Uh, how much stronger is double edge than waterfall? It's possible that double edge into overheat crit could kill me. Or uh, that's enough damage. They're not living another one. Yeah, they're also. Um, yeah, they're dead to double edge now. They didn't get the crit, but that's fine. All right, one trigger down. All right, now I double edge. Bye bye. All right, one trainer down. These are very difficult, so every one of these is a big hit, is a big win. All right, here we go. Ruin Maniac, Eli. We know for a fact that Prime kills, I helped it. And actually, at this point, chat, it is far, far, far too late for regrets. Far, 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 far. Lumber, lumber, everything this team is lumber, it's good to know. I have a clean reversal, I'm faster, this always kills. And we say bye-bye. Uh, Alright, Sora comes in, so expected. Eat the orange berry, eat the orange berry, eat the orange berry. Wait, don't I have orange berry? Delicious! Okay, that guarantees no. This guarantees no ancient power. Unless they crit. <sighs> Minus attack, that's useful. Overheat, that's fine. Doesn't really matter which move he uses here. We would have preferred Earthquake, of course, because that would have given us a backup versus camera. It's actually not very much damage at all. I forgot this thing's really weak. This is always ancient power, I think. Uh, if it's solar beam, we're gonna have a bad time, I think. If it's solar beam, we're gonna have a bad time, but I think it should always be ancient power, because it's very specially weak. Uh-oh. We're gonna have a bad time. Okay. Why did it, so it just randomly solar beams? Um... Not gonna lie to you, chat, that absolutely sucks. Yeah, I'm dead to Ancient Power Crits, unfortunately. So, if I get Ancient Power Crit here, I lose the run for sure, guaranteed. Okay. Hopefully, there's Solar Beam again, because apparently they, they like that move. 
Um, strongest move here is Crunch. This is really bad. I mean, it just it just opened me up for variants, right? Okay, it was low roll. Solar Beam. Okay, that's fine. Solar Beam for whatever reason. Um, this should never be Earthquake, and everything else is fine. Um, Crunch's mid damage is 40%. That looked like it did less to me. Why does that look like it did less to me? No, it has 55% left. I just, I min rolled. It's fine. Min damage here is 60, and min damage from that was 40. So I can go Tentacruel. This is its only chance to Ancient Power Boost. If an Ancient Power Boost, we're in really big trouble. Oh, please, don't Ancient Power Boost. Okay, okay, um... Okay. Dodge a crit. And then win a speed tie. That's the plan. Yeah, okay, if it boosts again, it's just turbo smudge. Earthquake! Finally, okay. Dodge the crit. Gyarados, you've been with us a long time. I need you to close this one out for us. You need to not get crit here. You need to not get crit here, Gyarados. Come on. Good job. No boost! Crit! One time! It's fine. We didn't need it. Okay, it's fine. Drop. Yes. Doesn't matter. Do actually, matters. Doesn't matter. This should always be ancient power because it sees the kill. We need this to not boost. Or crit, actually. We need neither crit nor boost. Back into one jelly. Solar beam is fine, too. Okay. Don't crit. Don't boost. Okay? I just need to dodge a crit now. Or win a speed tie. Either one is fine. Please don't crit! Oh god! Yes! <sighs> Let's go! Oh my god, my heart's going like a million miles a minute. Okay. <sighs> okay, well, this fight's not over. But it's suddenly a lot better. I'm gonna double check my calc and make sure I didn't do something stupid. You mean never punished? I was super punished. I mean, everything was punished. Never punished my foot. Okay. Muddy water. I move first. This should always Oko. It's a good thing I have such a strong Pokemon. Because if I had to burn a bunch of resources to get through that thing, I was super doomed. Okay. I was super punished. Why did it Solar Beam on Dawn Fan switch? And I lost the speed tie. Yeah. Okay. Wheezing. It should see the kill. It should never Sludge Bomb. It should always Thunderbolt. Now, I do die to Sludge Bomb, Crit Poison. And I have Cherry Berry, because I didn't think it was going to... Okay, I'm floating. Did I get T-Bolt? This is good. Let me just confirm that Guardy one-shots, because I didn't actually calc. Otherwise, I actually made a, I made a mistake. I should have calc this. Oh, I did calc it. It's super kills. It's not Explosion. It's fine. I have Cherry Berry just in case it parried. I'm floating, I'm floating. Okay. Psychic, guaranteed Oko, and I'm faster. Should one shot. Alright. No deaths. Second trainer. Well, here we go, chat. Ow, 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 ow. Yikes, it's hot indeed. Let's do a prediction. We haven't done one in a while. We're not getting to Flannery this thing. So, let, let, am I going to get through these next two trainers without losing a Mon? I think if you lose a Mon on the first trainer, you absolutely wipe. The first trainer is. I mean, they're both pretty scary. All right, we outspeed this thing because of the sun. I don't know why I said because of the sun. Sun. Okay, prediction is done. I'm putting heat wave. I'm faster. 87.5% chance to just bye bye. Just straight up goodbye. That doesn't look like I hit the roll. Yeah, I didn't hit it. <laughs> it has substitute. Okay, very cool. Stupid leftover trainer. On the lore, baby. Man, I'm glad I used this thing. I didn't even realize I had substitute. Blissey comes in. Okay, cool. Now, let's do some calcs. Megahorn can miss, so I think I'm better off just double edging here. Oh, wait, that was dumb, because I have lot, now lots of recoil. If I crit, I'm in huge trouble. Okay, it's fine. Uh, not to crit Thunderbolt. Okay, it's fine. That was maybe stupid. Okay, is this Serene Grace? T Bolt, okay. No crits, no para. Uh, para's fine. I can't use an escape route, but I wrote a can you know, crits and para. Okay, I'm gonna brick break, it should always kill. Actually, it might be a roll, but it's a very good roll. Okay, here's the hard part. That was the easy part, this is the hard part. 
This should always be Heat Wave, I think. Let me just make sure Wild Charge doesn't kill my Primate. Uh, well, only one roll of crit. So it's almost guaranteed Heat Wave here, I think. So I'm gonna go Gyarados, because they would need Wild Charge roll. They would need 1 in 16 times 1 in 16. It should be Heat Wave, or Hypnosis is ideal. Okay, Heat Wave. Um, burn isn't bad here either. Okay. Okay, here's the hard part, chat. Unless, chat, if I was a real legend, you know what I would do? I would magic coat the hypnosis, but then I would just miss. This should be wild charge. Okay. Okay, this is the hard part. No crits, not bad. The heal. If only I had Voldemort's or Lantern, they still have Solar Beam. Uh, no, I'm, I'm trying not to throw the run, if it's all the same to you all. Hypnosis, okay. Uh, hypnosis is one way that this goes very badly very quickly, by the way. What, hey, Spega, what determines if it, if it hypnosis is, by the way? Some big damage. Like, is it guaranteed hypnosis here? Or is it just random? Alright, <laughs> okay, for content. Hypnosis! This game sucks so much! <laughs> This game is- and you know I'm gonna attack this turn? I'm just gonna Hypnosis. Okay, I didn't do it. 75 to 48, I'm now in range. Okay, I actually do have to switch here. Stupid Rapidash. If it Hypnosis this turn, that would actually have been fine. Because I just do. Okay, so I'm still strong, I should be in range. Faster, I wouldn't muddy water it. Getting a little high here. We're getting a little bit worried, but... How much experience do I gain for this? I have 2,600 to play with. I think I only definitely need it for one mon after this. Vilo Plume. This is actually good because it doesn't see- it's never sludge bombing here, right? What are the moves in this thing? HP Fire, it's gonna Jiggers or Sleep Powder, right? So I can go Gar- because I'm only dead to sludge bomb crit poison, I think. I can't teleport out of the gym. Sleep Powder? Haha! <laughs> Who's fast now? Nice, nice, nice. Okay, never misses, never punished. Is it chlorophyll? It is now. God, Trace is so good sometimes. Not often, but sometimes. Really good. Okay, and now I Psychic for the kill. Bye-bye. I'm already Tracer. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Alright. Only 373 on that one. Alright, here we go, chat. Can't bring gold to Flannery? That's right. And so I don't, I don't, I don't think we need it versus Expert Keegan either. Anyway, 39 Torkoal. Certainly is strong. Should we do one last check? I mean, I don't really have another option at this point, right? I have the right things in the Calic. Earthquake should always kill. I move first. This thing is Lumberry and White Smoke. This is only possible because it's minus defense nature. I'm not going to be Flannery in 20. I might even get through the next fight in 20. All right. Here comes the overleveling challenge. Uh, it's probably fine. Because this is the last part of Goldman's battle. Slow King. Okay, I would like to keep Golem at least for the next one, ideally. This is probably Ice Beam, right? I need to make sure that Nidoking doesn't come in too early, because if it does, we're actually in trouble. I, didn't, I don't have a backup for that. Wait a second. I didn't check who comes in on... Wait a second, uh oh. If I KO Sloking with Gyarados, Tropius comes in. I need to KO with either Gyarados or... Who's the backup here? Ten Sharpedo? I can't KO... Okay, do not let me KO this thing with Sharpedo, because then I will lose. Uh, I'm never dead. I'm never dead just like crit into Double Edge. And if Double Edge crits, that'd be super nice. But Sharpedo was actually a bait. Ugh, that doesn't do that much. Oh, it's a gear. I just min rolled. It's fine. Actually, min roller is really good because I take even less from recoil. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Okay. According to this, Silk Scarf Badge Boost attack is a guaranteed 2 KO after leftovers because I'm min damage is 54%. So I think I'm going to go for that. I have to go for it. I'm going for it. This is guaranteed. No! What? It says it's guaranteed! What? That shouldn't be possible! I have the wrong attack Ivy in the calc. Oh, and I low rolled. No, why do I have 31 attack Ivy in the calc? I have like two attack Ivy. Oh, it's it's a 71% chance to KO. Oh, I double low rolled. Oh, no. Okay, that's the end of the game. I, I blew the run on that. Okay, I have to make sure I don't lose this run, though. I don't lose this fight. Okay, we're gonna beat some Tropius. Because of Hidden Power Rock? Because of Earthquake. Okay, it's fine. We're, we can still win this fight. That was our best Mon, actually. 
It's really bad. It was such a good Pokemon. Oh man, okay. Leftover Slowking. Yeah, it was a very low roll to not KO. Uh, I'll go for Flamethrower. Should always kill. Uh, I can. I wasn't even using Gyarados versus Flannery, although that eliminates one of the options I have. All right, I'm never dead to anything here. I could one shot it, but then they would go into Nido King, and would that be good for me? Probably not, right? Because I can't. I can't get this thing in too early. Because uh, Arcanine doesn't kill, so I have to go for Body Slam here. I'm actually faster. Tropius is. Parry doesn't matter. Oh man, this is why we take things slow and steady, because otherwise stuff like this happens. Earthquake comes out, doesn't kill me. Doesn't the crit. Um, Gardevoir's never did an Earthquake, it's only dead to Solar Beam, right? That's really bad. Okay, I'm fast now. I double low rolled with the wrong calc. I feel like I've lost so many mods to calcing wrong. That feels really bad though. I, when I saw how little the first one did, I, I assumed I just low rolled. I just, because, like, the min, I did get the min roll, like, I got, like, what would have been the min roll with true Calp. Okay. Oh, wait, I definitely needed Gyarados for the next fight. That's real bad. Oh, bye-bye. Man. Okay, I think it might be okay. I don't know how important Gyarados is to this run, but we have guaranteed Salamence coming up, right? If we can get through this... Gyarados is honestly, like, amazing. All of our deaths have been so bad. Like, okay, yeah, we don't need a water type, and Gyarados wasn't even doing really damage for the most part. Oh, man. That's really bad. Uh-oh. Are there trainers here? Oh, wait. Guys, why have you been letting me go all the way up Mount Chimney when I could have just come down here? Why did nobody say anything to me about that? Y'all, how many times have I gone through Mount Chimney? All right, Expert Keegan. Might the edge, read your switch. It doesn't ever read. It just random or it makes obvious move. This is not my met. I made a huge mistake. I made an enormous mistake. I needed to be cherry berry. This thing is static. Why? I have no item on primate. Why am I not cherry berry? Please no para. Never punished, never punished, never punished. Never punished, never punished, never punished. Never punished, never punished. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> never punished, never punished, never punished, never punished. I don't even know if that's static. Uh, but never punished. Alright, bye bye. Imagine what Hound him and Quick Pursuit on me. Alright, hurry up, this is fake out. This is the hard part of the battle. Except for the parts that are hard. There's other hard parts after this. Okay. Nine. This is Intimidate. Intimidate is very valuable because. Um, that's why Gyarados is better for this, by the way, because it would always bait Rock Slide, and now I'm baiting, now I'm baiting Earthquake or Rock Slide. And I really would love to bait Rock Slide here, but it should probably be Earthquake, unfortunately. Let's go Fancy. And also never baited, uh, Force Palm, and if I get Parrot, it's really bad, because it makes the odds... Okay, EQ, yeah, that's why I need Gyarados there. I can't kill this with Gardevoir, by the way, because of the Pounding with Pursuit, that's the issue. Anyway, I should have planned this properly. I mud shot three times for the kill, and they get two more earthquakes off, and I'm at, I'm at about 60%. Or, like, I'm, sl I'm slightly below 60, right? I'm at 50%. There's another earthquake, there's another 20%. But I have Orin Berry, so I'm still not in range of pursuit after this, but I am in range of Hinkar Ice. And over oh, Fire Move. I made an error. It's, it's leftovers. Um, I'm not guaranteed to kill. It should still be okay, though. I should still be out of pursuit range, but I didn't realize it was leftovers. Crit one time, John Fan, for the homies. Okay. It's earthquaking again. It looks like it always earthquakes. Alright, 81 down to 58. It's this next one that's really influential, unfortunately, because I have to see if I'm in pursuit range. Double edge? Um, double edge is stronger, you're right. Hang on, let's pull up the calc. I have Dawn Fan. Do I have double edge on this thing? I don't think I do. I don't have, a, I don't have double edge, right? I have rock slide. Max damage Earthquake has to do less than 28 damage. It's max damage is 25. This is still fine. It doesn't kill, but I'm still out of, I'm still out of range. Oh, okay. Just get the crit. All right. Same situation. It's as if I, it's as if I did properly. Okay. Here we go. This is the hard, this is where we need to pray that we understand how AI works. Hound Doom. Okay. This should never click pursuit ever. We are not in range. We're not even close to being in range. We're a little close, but like, not actually. 
But if it, if it clicks Pursuit, we die. However, if we click Mudshot, it dies. One Jelly, don't Pursuit me. Okay, alright. This isn't- this fight is not over, but that was- that was good. Crunch. Oh, I thought it was gonna Vampirize me. I can get my special defense dropped. Okay, am I even faster than this? I didn't actually calc this part of the battle, I just hoped that I would win. It, oh, 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 this is fine. Am I faster? Oh, oh, this is super fine. I didn't get crit on the switch in. It's fine. This is guaranteed win. Or guaranteed. It's faster? Wait. Wait, what? Why is this thing faster than me? Oh. It wiped my IVs. That's why my IVs are wrong. Some some point it, it, it messed something up and wiped my IVs. Okay. That's not good. Okay, that, it was just that one time. Uh-oh. Um... I'm not faster than this thing. I'm only dead to crit. I'm only dead to crit. How about Arcanine? How does Arcanine do here? Because I don't need to kill with anything in particular here. I don't have anything that doesn't die to crit here. So I think it's actually optimal to just risk the crit on Tentacruel. I can't switch, you're right, Pursuit. I, can't, I actually can't switch. We're speed tied? <laughs> what? What's happening? What is happening? We shouldn't have been speed tied. This thing is 102 speed stat. I shouldn't have speed tied that. Oh, 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 that's, I'm looking at the wrong mod again. Oh my God, this is so, this is just like calculator nightmare. And now my calculator broke. Oh God. Oh, it's just frozen. All right, I've lost power of the calc. I can no longer calc things. This calc has been bugging out. I think it might be a calc issue. All right, I don't have, I don't have the power of the calc. I have to finish this game without it. This is either a sack or not a sack. It should never be, it should always be a gunk shot or solar beam. Okay, that's perfect. I'm always in range of Weather Ball now. I'm always in range of Weather Ball. Or Hidden Power Rock should also do that, but it should never be Gunk Shot here. So I can go into I Feel, which is only dead to Gunk Shot Crit. I'm going fast. Weather Ball, perf, never dead to crit. Uh, and I think that I'm faster and kill this. I can't check. They crit me? Okay, that's why we positioned like that. That's why we did that. <laughs> uh... If I did something wrong, if I'm not faster than this victory bell, we're about to have a real bad time, chat. It should one-shot, though. Alright, no death sex for Keegan. No overleveling. Alright, made to Flannery with one death. So, welcome back. Now, obviously, we're pretty far into the video at this point, um, and you're probably wondering, what is the plan for Flannery? Now, um, I was very lucky. Uh, earlier in the run, I actually was able to catch a Ralts, which had synchronized. Now, Ralts is obviously difficult to catch because it has teleport. I don't actually remember if the one that I caught could have teleported, and I believe it could have, um, but we caught it anyway, and it had synchronized. Now, what that means is that synchronize is an ability that allows you to have a 50% chance of, if you lead with it, all wild Pokemon you encounter have a 50% chance of, of, of also having the nature of your synchronizer. So I had a serious Ralts, and if I was using it when catching Pokemon, if I led with it, then um, I had a 50% chance of all Pokemon I encountered being serious. Now, that's relevant here in Flannery because there is something known in the, to my understanding, the Emerald Kaizo community known as a Pog Mankey. Um, and the way that it works basically is a, a Primate with, uh, I believe it's 17 Speed IV and 17 Attack IV can, in theory, um, with 1 HP reversal, which reversals, I believe, a 250 base power move um, at 1 or close to 1 HP, um, can sweep most of Flannery's Pokemon. Now, it's not that easy most of the time because you do need to sacrifice a Pokemon to... You need, just, you need a way to beat the Arcanine, which has extreme speed. Um, <coughs> excuse me, Arcanine. Uh, so it's not as easy as, as perhaps, like, you know, just get the Mankey and auto win, but it does give you an enormous advantage and makes the gym a lot easier if you set it up properly. Now... I did not get Pog Mankey, but I got very close. So I, I had the correct speed IV, but my attack IV was effectively at the level that I'm allowed to be at, one point lower um, than, it, than than what is necessary. And what that means is that for the Nine Tails, it doesn't change anything. For I think that the Charizard, it doesn't change anything, but the Blaziken comes in. And rather than having a guaranteed one hit KO, uh, I instead have a 15 out of 16 chance to KO, which is roughly 94% um, of the time. So. Uh, it makes the the fight a little bit more more risky, and like I mentioned, even if you're able to get through the first, the way that it works is you KO the first three Pokemon with, you know, with this with the Mankey. If you if I and in my case, if I hit the roll, I will, I will KO it. Um, but after that point, uh, the Arcanine comes in, and that's where things can get really really kind of hectic uh, because um, if the Arcanine crits you, like I didn't have a lot of Pokemon that are able to. <laughs> 
really handle Arcanine with with some with certain RNG. So um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the you enjoyed the the video so far, and um, yeah, I hope that gives you some context for what's about to happen in the Flannery fight. All right, chat, Flannery, my first ever Flannery attempt. There is a lot that has to go right this fight, and th we could wipe here. So my question, I think we are almost guaranteed, unless we Omega Turbo High Roll, do we're, this is no longer a question of can we get through Deathless. This is a question of do we win? Because there is a lot that has to go right here. It's been a long journey to get here. We have had some unfortunate deaths. We've had some really good Pokemon lost and all of our bad Pokemon are still alive. The odds are not in our favor. The odds are very much not in our favor, but we can't always play with the best odds. Sometimes you have to take some risks. Sometimes you have to gamble a little bit because Flannery's mods are so strong. This is my first ever Flannery attempt. We have some Pokemon that are solid. There's a, so many ways this can go badly. Ninetales is the lead. Let's just pull up the calc here. Primepi. All right, Primepi, I need you to carry us through this. Reversal's a roll in the Ninetales and it's a bad roll. Wait, why did I- I calc this like 10 times. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Please! 70%, 70%, kill, 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 kill. Okay, never punished, never punished, never punished. <laughs> why did I think this killed? Blue, why did I think that killed? Okay. Never punished, never punished, never punished. All right, all right. I, I don't have great RNG for the rest of this run, but I have good gym leader RNG, right guys? Okay, okay, why did I think that killed? Wait, that, something is wrong there. There's, there's no way a one attack IV difference makes that guaranteed. It doesn't, something is wrong here. Something is absolutely, oh, I don't have badge boost on. Oh, it was guaranteed, it was guaranteed, it was guaranteed, it was guaranteed, it was guaranteed. I, I didn't turn it, oh, when I reset the calc, I lost badge boost. Oh, I also didn't use soft sand. Oopsie. Well, whatever. It was guaranteed, I forgot about, I didn't have badge boost on. I, I knew something was wrong. I, I knew it shouldn't be doing that little. Okay, this is guaranteed as well. <laughs> Even more guaranteed than the last one, if you can believe it. Oopsie doopsie, okay, never misses, never punished. All right, <laughs> this next one's not guaranteed. This is why you need the IV. It's three HP, it's still, it's still under 4% or whatever, it's still fine. It wasn't, okay, now is the actual never punished moment. This blaze again. I have a 15 out of 16% chance, or 15 out of 16 time to kill it. And this is probably one of the two, mid, like two of the major points of failure here. There is nothing better I can do. I have to click reversal and I have to pray. 15 out of 16 times it works. I need to get it. It's going down pretty fast. I got it. Okay, Blaziken's down. This is the next major point of failure. If we get through Arcanine, we should be able to win this always. But getting through Arcanine is really difficult. Like, really difficult. So here's, there's a couple things that have to happen here. <laughs> and they're all terrifying, okay? The first is this has to extreme speed and not crit. It's always extreme speeding. That part's not the hard part. So Tortle Switch isn't here. And we need this to not, ideally it's not max roll, it's not that big a deal though. We really need not max roll here. Extreme speed, do not crit me. Do not crit me, you Arcanine. Do not crit me, do not crit me. Arcanine, not now, not ever. Yes, good job, Ar good job, good job. Arcanine, okay. Arcanine, that's half of the battle. The other half is what happens next. Cause that's the interesting part to me personally. Uh, uh, okay, it needs to solar beam it, it needs to not hit one of three max rolls and not crit me. And it needs to not extreme speed, this is kind of a bad plan. Wild charge, do not crit me! Do not crit me! Yes, 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 okay, die, 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 Leftovers! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. Okay, does Tentacruel die here? Thought that would kill. I thought they would Solar Beam, actually. It's okay. I need them to do, like, one more damage. Uh, 100% Tentacruel versus Arcanine. Tentacruel's level 43. Tentacruel does not die uh, from Extreme Speed into Extreme Speed. Nothing survives Extreme Speed into Extreme Speed, so my options are Sack Blastoise to get the free thing or risk more crits. I don't die- I don't die to crit extreme speed. So actually, wait, am I- I'm faster than this thing, right? At level 43, I am faster, so I just need to dodge one ex Actually, I just need this one to not crit extreme speed and it should be fine. So I'm gonna go jelly here and... yeah. We can't sack love disc yet, we need to sack it later. Do not crit me. Do not crit me, you are gonna Do not crit me. Do not crit me. I can't sack love disc yet, chat. I have to- I have to wait. It crit me! Okay, I lived. Um... Okay, that's really bad, because it's also healing. Punished, okay, that's really bad. 
Do I have anything that doesn't get two shot here? Oh, stupid thing. Um, I should just bought Sharpedo and then, um, I should have sacked Sharpedo here. Okay, Grumpig, do you get two shot? You do not get two shot. Okay, Grumpig, you're up next. We're no longer getting through this without a death, for sure. I need to dodge a an extreme speed crit at some point. Boing. I'll, I'll turn to question, do you even kill with Psychic? You should, right? Yeah, you do. Barely. Do not crit me. Do not crit me, you Arcanine. Do not crit me, you Arcanine. Okay, Arcanine, one more no crits. One more no crits. Actually, if you overheat, I live anyway, I think. If you heat wave, I am... Eh, never mind. Oh, uh, no, uh, heat wave crit never kills me. Do not extreme speed. Do not crit me. 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 I hate Arcanine as if it crit me. Nice, grump and kill, grump and kill, real. Grump and kill, real. Okay, this should be win, winnable. This should be one. Let's make sure I did everything correctly though. All right, Typhlosion. Why don't we do some more Calx chat? Why don't we make sure that Wolf Glick didn't do something tiny, minuscule brained? I have Primate, custom set, 43, 4, 3 HP. 2 HP, 3 HP. Reversal always kills. Do I have speed? I'm one point faster because of my speed stat. Let's just confirm that that's correct. Why don't we do that, chat? Does that sound fun for everybody? Should we confirm that Wolf Click, not idiot? Don't switch this in. Check summary. 94 stat. That's correct. That means I'm 103 stat, which means I'm faster than Typhlosion. But it's time. Love Disc. Wait, is there any way around this? Okay, what if I... I should just sack Love Disc, right? I should not greed. I'm sacking Love Disc. Every part of me wants to play Deathless here, but like, I, let's just sack. I'm sorry too. I don't like it either. Uh, it's the right play though. Bye bye. <laughs> Love this. You were honestly pretty good. I'm happy we had you. You were good. I'm. So I don't feel good about it. But uh, you, you were a necessary sacrifice. A small price to pay for Flannery. Unless Wolflick did something stupid again, which is like very possible. <sighs> Love disc. Your death hopefully will not be in vain. Now go rest with Streptobeeb. I'm faster. This should always one shot. Die, 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 die. Okay, last mon is cast form. Should be guaranteed win at this point. The other question, I there's no point calking, right? I'm just reversaling every time. All right, Mankey. Let's actually calc. Let's see. I would like the suspense of knowing whether or not that this is a this is gonna go well for me. Its min damage is 105 percent thanks to the badge boost, baby. But don't say I was never punished. If this had gone perfectly, I wouldn't have had to sacrifice anything. But honestly, the Arcanine going down at all is pretty good. Bye bye. And that's Flannery. One death Flannery. Two deaths in the gym total. Could have been one. Feels good. Four badges on my ninth run. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Very lucky with Mankey though. Very, very lucky. This was going to be uh, infinitely more difficult. I didn't end up teaching Drill Run to that Rapidash for nothing, so I feel kind of dumb about that one. Stud, thank you for the five gift subs, appreciate that. That's not bad. Nine runs, four badges, not bad. This is a hard game. Definitely got lucky with the- we got- I mean, we got somewhat lucky with Mankey, right? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh wait, we don't fight you because you go goggles. Go goggles, go go goggles. If she fights, I just- I just sweep with the Mankey. Oh wait, but I didn't eat the Lepa Bear yet. Yo, it's it kind of slaps. Hey, May. Love Disc. I truly am sorry. And you honestly did a great job. You were helpful across the board. I'm proud of you. And I know it's not the ending you wanted, but you knew that it was the ending that we needed. And for that, I say thank you. Love Disc, for your work, for your sacrifice, you've earned a rest. For your performance throughout the run, I award you the position next to Structo Bead in the Box of Dead.